G'day flatties and Globe Defenders, it's Critical Think from Down Under and today I'm going to present some data that supports the scientific fact that we know we are living on a spinning ball. Now I know you flatties are going to hate me for this but anyway sit back and enjoy what we have here goes on about the difference in uh, the weight of things at the equator compared to other places in the earth. Have you actually gone and measured it? Have you ever done it? We understand that in the model, based on the spin and centrifugals, <coughs> centripetal, centripetal, whatever forces, that that's the result that you can calculate based on your model. But can, has anyone, has anyone actually gone and measured this so-called difference? Has anyone actually measured that a kilogram weighed in the, you know, somewhere up north is any different to a kilogram weighed on the equator? Has anyone actually gone and done that? No, they have not. A kilogram is a kilogram wherever you are on the earth. Well, here's a news flash for you, Nick. It's been done before and oops, I did it again. So first of all, it's been done by Wolfie6020. He's measured a 500 gram weight at various latitudes. And here we go. I've got my own recorded observations. Now, I took some observations here in Brisbane, Australia. And I've just got pictures of these. Now, all of the, the um, you can put your weight on the scales and it will read something different every time. That's just the way it is. That's just the way that the scales work and, and little, little variations here and there. And I've taken these, all these different readings and I've taken them all into account in working out my calculations. So then I've also been to Perth, Australia. It's at 32 degrees south. And these are the observations of the same scales, same 500 gram weight. And I'll play this one as a video. And... Sometimes I do this twice, but this time it's just the once. And here's another one. Now you'll see it's a little bit over the 500 in Perth, which is uh, looking good already. So it stabilizes around 500.11 grams. And there, I took another reading another time, 500 500.12, 500.09, 500.10, 500.13, 500.10. 500 These done at different times during the day and different days. Now, also then, I travelled to Nong Kai in Thailand, which is 17.88 degrees north, and got some observations there. And you see that's around 499.53. So anybody thinking that this um, may be rigged or fake, this is pretty much impossible. pretty much impossible to fake yeah I don't know how you would fake it actually but these are my readings that I took and this is just the measurements that were taken. This is experimentation. This is actual measurements. This is getting a scale and doing repeated observations.
and then I went to Phuket in Thailand which is 7.9 degrees south and we have some observations there and this is a uh, close to the equator you can see that we're getting the lightest weight that we have seen so far even though it's not the same every time it's consistently lighter and some more measurements Yeah, around about the same value, 499.45 on that one, 46. That one, a very unusually low reading, but this is what can happen. So I take several readings, just not rely on, on one particular reading. And I had originally planned to do an observation in Melbourne, but oops, there was an unfortunate baggage incident. And uh, I couldn't retrieve my bag until I got home and they delivered it to me afterwards. So that's a bit of a shame, but anyway, we'll carry on without it. So I've documented all of those readings in those observations that I've shown, and I've also averaged them out, and I've got an average. And all of those readings are there, and then I've plotted them. First of all, I've worked out from the model using Walter Bisland's calculator there. He's got a um, he's got a centrifugal and gravitational acceleration in an aircraft calculator, which was the one that I use. I just put um, the speed at zero because I wanted to uh, also include the elevation. There may be another calculator that's better, but this one worked for me. I using that as a model, you know, calculated out um, what the weight should be at various latitudes. And I used uh, a calibration altitude of about 12 meters. And that's sort of like the average altitude at most of the locations. As it, the, uh, the weight does vary with altitude a little bit, but unless it's a couple hundred meters it's not significant uh, so I, I didn't record the exact altitude at at all locations ex except one you'll see it makes a difference so here I've plotted the blue line is what the model tells us that it should be there's latitude along the horizontal axis and weight across the vertical axis and there are all the dots with groupings of the different samples are and it's pretty plain to see that it's pretty closely following that prediction that the globe model predicts so we've made a prediction with the model and we've taken some measurements and we're seeing how well those measurements fit the globe now the non-chi one I notice here is a little bit out more than the others. It's down below the curve here at 17.9 degrees. And um, I, after I plotted this, I double checked the elevation at Nong Kai. And, and my elevation there was about 180 meters above sea level. So I should really take that into account because that does make a significant difference. And it does make this drop below that line which would have otherwise be this line here is like 12 meter above sea level uh, modeling for what the weight should be so i've taken the average 
of all those points and I've re-plotted it and I've also plotted the non-chi uh, expected value on the red line there so all the other dots are, are coming up nice around about the blue line pretty close to it and non-chi is still a little bit below the red line but it's a lot closer to the red line which is the 180 meter elevation prediction so that's is a very good fit and totally supports the globe and i'm sorry flat earth but i don't even know what your model is um and yeah you know i know phuket word will try to uh, attribute this to density because of the different temperature in uh, near the equator but uh, here we go i've got a word about that but first i just want to gloat just for a couple of more uh, seconds here because this is such a great result and uh, you won't see a graph as good as that for a little while so we have a word about density particularly for phuket word and i say all readings except the brisbane ones were taken in an air-conditioned hotel room now no density difference because of temperature because the temperatures were pretty much the same the other readings in brisbane were taken in air conditioned conditions but the temperature was a little bit more variable so mr phuket word um if you're going to try and debunk this you, um you want to use science and measurement for your flat earth explanation no hand waving and rhetoric that's just nonsense so do what you tell us to do and use science and measurement establish the relationship between density and weight and model it we've established the relationship between latitude and height and weight we've modeled it you should do the same for density because you're going to say that the weight is proportional to density well what's your model how can you test it and then you take measurements of weight at different densities and then you plot it against your model just like i've done and if you don't end up with something like this then uh, please go away and try again thanks very much goes on about the difference in uh, the weight of things at the equator compared to other places in the earth have you actually gone and measured it have you ever done it we understand that in the model based on the spin and centrifugals <coughs> centripetal centripetal whatever forces that that's the result that you can calculate based on your model but can has anyone has anyone actually gone and measured this so-called difference has anyone actually measured that a kilogram weighed in the you know somewhere up north is any different to a kilogram weighed on the equator has anyone actually gone and done that no they have not a kilogram is a kilogram wherever you are on the earth <laughs>